Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Guess what guys, I am staying at a hotel again. Yeah, inside Tokyo. I'm here for two nights. I'm staying at this place called the Tokyo Stay Hotel. It's my first time here. And let me tell you, it was another bargain. I found another good deal online. It was 4,600 yen per night. So um, that's like, I guess, 42 US dollars or something like that. And um, let me show you the room. It's kind of cool. So anyway, this is the entrance, obviously. That's the door. And to the left of the door, there is this. I guess this is a, what is this? A trouser press. It's a trouser press. I've never used one of these before. Um, but I guess, I guess you would like put your trousers in here. The interesting thing about this hotel is this right here, guys. Look. There's a washing machine. This is actually a washer and dryer. Yeah, it's a washer slash dryer all in one. And they gave me two packs of laundry detergent. I don't think I'm gonna be washing any clothes though, but it's kind of cool. I thought this would be interesting for some of you guys who travel, you know, when you guys come to Japan. And there's also a microwave oven. This is also very rare to have in a hotel room. Super rare. And there's there's a really nice um, kettle as well. Look, it's a DeLonghi kettle. That's the kettle. What if there's anything up here? Nothing, but there's some cupboards up. There's a nice cupboard with shelves. Okay, so that's kind of cool, isn't it? Like, I would love having a washer dryer and a microwave oven in my hotel room. Like, when I'm traveling abroad or to a different city. That would be fantastic. So, from here, we turn here. This is the room. Before we go to the room, let me show you what's here. Here's another thing that you never find. It's a hot plate. Can you believe it? I can actually cook in here. I guess. I wonder if there's like frying pan and stuff. Oh my goodness, look, there's a pot. I could make like instant ramen. And there's a ladle, that's dishwashing detergent. There's a sponge. Oh, wait a minute, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. That's a, a knife. Okay, and then that's a cutting board. That's, there's some um, paper towel. And there's a refrigerator right next to it. It's empty for your use. Or if there's anything in here. Yay, look at this there's like a set of forks and sp spoons there's plates there's some mugs and glasses some cream and sugar for your coffee which I don't drink but that's okay because after you check in they have a place where you can just grab a whole bunch of stuff for use in your room and they had tea so I just grabbed myself a bunch of tea so I hung my jacket here so there is no closet space so this would be your closet and there's a place to hang stuff here um, that's a shoe brush and um, that's your shoe horn a shoe polisher and then this is an this is a fabric and this is a what is it this is a fabric and air freshener fabric and air freshener and then those are room slippers Actually, there's two sets of slippers and there's also these disposable slippers as well. Let's check out the bathroom. The bathroom is kind of um, spacious for this price. So, that's the bathtub. And comes with body soap, shampoo, and conditioner. This is a sink right here. And that's your face and hand soap. You got a... Uh, got a couple of uh, toothbrushes with a toothpaste inside and I got more toothpaste from downstairs and got some cotton swabs, a couple of cups, got a blow dryer here, have a couple of bath towels and some hand towels, extra roll of toilet paper and you got two more rolls of toilet paper here trash can and your toilet going out of the bathroom you have a little uh, table and chair sit here this is very nice 
I like it. It's a nice chair. It's a very nice chair. And this is um, my packs of green tea and roasted tea. I got three packs each from downstairs. That's the television. And here is the bed. The bed. And this room, as most Japanese hotels do, have two sets of pajamas. And then got some throw pillows there. Got some nice artwork on the wall. And then we have a little view. Let's check out the view. Oh, finally. I'm staying in a hotel with some kind of view. This is great. The last time I had a view of nothing. Look, it's a pretty nice view. That's a uh, Shiodome. Right there are the skyscrapers of Shiodome. Oh. We're actually like um, in between Shiodome Station and Shinbashi Station. We're also very near the uh, Italian area. I think I'll take you guys for a walk there. Then you got a couple of drawers here to put stuff in. That's a safe. Let's see. What's this? I guess hotel information. No, 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 no. It's a mirror. It's a mirror. And this must be the hotel information. Yeah, hotel information. And then got a box of tissue. It's kind of like a nice studio apartment, don't you think? Oh, very relaxed now. Very, very happy with this room. You know, I'm always a little bit nervous before I check into a new hotel because I don't know what to expect. You know, what if I get the view of nothing or uh, the room is so small I can't move or sometimes, you know, I'm in a bad neighborhood. Never really happens in Japan, but you know, in other countries, it might be a bad neighborhood or something. But I'm very happy with this. I really, am quite surprised um 40 sorry 4600 yen per night uh, this is whether it's one person or two two persons is the same same price and um yeah the location is amazing uh shinbashi is basically in the ginza area and it's like one station away and um you know you can walk to there you can walk to Tsukiji from here. It's walking distance. Um, Shinbashi is where the Yurikamame line leaves. That's the train that takes you to Odaiba. Uh, you can visit Hibiya Park, which is like, um, like a block away. Yeah, a block away. No, not a block away. Like one station away, but that's still quite near. And you have a lot of um, places to eat and drink around here. So yeah, this is a great place. I'm really, really happy. Ah, <laughs> so nice. It's nice, 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 nice. So obviously uh, this is becoming a thing for me, you know, staying at a hotel for a couple of nights in Tokyo. Uh, the last time I stayed at the, uh, the Henna Hotel where you get checked in uh, by a hologram character. So that was pretty cool and I really enjoyed that. And then before that I stayed at this hotel called the Rem Hotel in Hibiya, which was okay. For some reason that hotel was the most dissatisfactory for me of all the hotels I've stayed at, including this one. Yeah, I think this is my favorite. This is my favorite for the price. It's, it's amazing. So I just left the hotel room and I walked for about three minutes. And I'm right here in the middle of this area that sort of is designed after Italy. Let me show you what it looks like. So check it out. Look at the buildings here. 
I believe, is this an office building? I think this is an office building. And then here, I think this is an apartment building here. So this is pretty. I love the trees all lighted up. It's really pretty. That's the Yamanote line that just went by. And now uh, we're gonna cross the street here. So those are apartment buildings on the top floor. And then you got like a sidewalk cafe there. And you have a sidewalk cafe on this side, on this corner. But you see everything kind of ends right here. Like there's a, another sidewalk cafe right there in the corner, but it just kind of ends here. Here's one of the side streets. It's kind of nice, but you see, it's pretty quiet and there's not much activity. And here's another beautiful cobblestone street. So I just, I, I love, I love the cobblestone. So nice. And then you got like, I guess apartment buildings and offices. But here's a little stand, like a coffee stand or a juice stand here. Closing up for the day. It's kind of nice. And that's about it, guys. All right, I'm going to end this video here. Hope you enjoyed it. It wasn't that a great room. Yeah, I'm looking forward to staying there. Two nights there, so really looking forward to it. I'm just going to chill tonight. I just can't wait to just relax, relax, relax. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are. I will catch you on my next video. Bye, everybody. So where should I go on my next adventure? Where do you guys want me to go?